I was with Jaguar for 36 years and uh, I was a chief development test engineer. So I, I developed, test developed 25 models in 36 years. It was always in the 50s, 60s in my day, 14 people in a team and we all got on well together in that team and everyone in that team was an expert in his uh, field. Bob Knight with suspension, Malcolm Say, beautiful aerodynamist, and uh, that team, I said, once they built the car, gave it me, then I developed it into, make it into a car, either for production or for racing, you know. And we were so far in front of all the other people. I mean, uh, we were the first with the disc brake. I developed the disc brake with Dunlop, 1952. So we was always just one way ahead which gave Jaguar that formidable point of being ahead of everybody else, you know. Lyons was very good himself. He, he was the boss man, of course. It was his business. He was very good at uh, saloon styling. Uh, didn't, didn't do drawings. He, he got a complete body in the shop, in the experimental shop. And he, even at night, six o'clock, seven o'clock, he'd come down with that body and he'd start drawing chalk lines, shaping the bonnet, different. And then he'd talk to one or two of us, say, what do you think, you know? And, and then we'd, we'd generally give our opinion, no, we don't like it or something. Until we, we all got, the, the team got it right, all accepted it, you know, and, and so it went from there, you know. Malcolm Sayer was the one who did the uh, race cars and uh, the E-Type uh, XJS. And uh, those were created uh, by Malcolm Sayer. Brilliant man. I mean, the XJ13 was his last creation. He died shortly after this. And uh, that car achieved uh, on the uh, racetrack where I used to do all the testing. We got a lap speed of 161.2 for a lap. That was a record. Uh, then later on, I rolled it. It, it, it. We had a wheel collapse on the rear and um, I hit the banking, because I used to be on these high bankings, I hit the banking, rolled it down, uh, we did nose and tail rolls, side rolls, finished up luckily on the three wheels and I looked up at the sky and got out and said, oh my God, I'm here, you know, still around. The joke was, the joke was, I finished up in the field, got out the car, walked back on the track and uh, two cars were coming down the track, one with the, with the uh, uh, film people in and one with my two guys who were mechanics so they pull up and they stop and they said uh, what are you doing here I said oh, I'm just waiting for you guys they said where's the car I said in the bloody field <laughs> so that I said where you been I said I could have been killed or waiting and they said oh we heard the engine stop we thought you'd run out of petrol <laughs> It was just, just a nice little incident of, of the uh, of, of the XJ13. And of course I'm known now, everybody knows me, that Norman who, who, who rolled the 13, you see. We produced the E-Type uh, sports car when it was launched in uh, 1961. And there you've got a sports car, 150 mile an hour. Nobody, nobody was making a car to sell to the public. Okay, Ferrari, Lamborghini or something. You could order one special, but that would, but this was a production car going to come off a line to sell to you or anybody else under two thousand pound, one hundred fifty mile an hour, and everyone went, "Wow, you know, what a car!" Every Jaguar has got its own image and creation, and uh, and somehow we just clicked with the customers. They liked it. They liked the style, the interior trim. They liked it, the performance. Everything was right for the customer. Uh, Jaguar for bringing these twelve. Every one I look at, I think, well, I, found, I know something went wrong with that one, you know, we had to put it right. And so, uh, no, it's just nostalgia to me. This is uh, bringing back lots of memories, nostalgia, and uh, I'm delighted to be with it, you know. And to find, there's only 16 of these, you see, only 16. So if you keep them, keep them in good condition, the price is going up all the time. Good investment. <laughs>